Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Nice to see you today. Nice to see you. I'm glad that we get to do this um, this recording, and thank you so much for agreeing to do it today. You're welcome. I am uh, excited, and uh, you know, being recorded is different. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my hunch is that if as we get started, we'll forget all about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that um, you've been thinking about coming together to to um, have this coaching call today. So what's happening for you today that you'd like to spend some time on? Um, what is happening for me today? Mm -hmm. I just got out of one of the um, one of the trade shows, and man, it takes longer and longer to recover. It's just mm. we were probably usually we take a day off. I think we took four days off this time. <laughs> and um, I'm really focused on the concept of the energy up, energy down. So what is interesting in my life? What is not interesting in my life? If I have something that I'm interested in, what's my resistance around it? Like I'm pretty clear I want more joyful things in my life. Mm -hmm. And then at times I'm like, they always seem to be two tears away and the grinded out stuff seems to be right in my face. Um, so I'm, I'm, um, I'm interested in moving the tears down to a lower level so that, that maybe the joyful stuff becomes a priority. Mm. So when you say tears, um, do you mean T-I-E-R-S or? Yeah, like, well, or shelves almost. I see oh, it as okay. shelves as a, um, I see, it's like a bookshelf. You know, the good ones are on the third shelf up and they're hard to reach. Oh. And, and uh, the ones that like, oh, there's that one. It's so easy to get. Uh, and it may not be my favorite one, but it's paying the bills right now. And, and uh, mm. trying to find a little bit more space um, to venture into the third shelf books, which I see. are, and books is ironic for me, you know that, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe third shelf activities. <laughs> yeah, third shelf activities. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I get it. So, or I think I get it. So, um, so it sounds like as, as you're in that space of decompressing or getting rid of what you want to around the last trade show, this is really becoming more apparent for you. Yeah. It's, it's, um, I don't know how much longer we can do what we do um physically mm. um you know i think we can do it for a while otherwise and there are other ways to do that but it's it's it also goes back to something that you and i talked about once before and that um mm -hmm. it feels um feels like uh i can even feel it now it, it it that line what is mine to do mm. Mm -hmm. And that's happening for you right now. Yeah. What's going on? Well, um, didn't, didn't expect to, uh, jump in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think it's, Um, yeah. maybe maybe you don't need to think about it and figure it out 
I wonder if in this moment you just want to feel it and experience it. Yeah. The the well, as you say that the the um the energy is so different. And if I if I go back to what mm. attracts me, I mean, I love my project. You know that I love, 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 love my project. And the energy of um, the energy of uh, I just I'm really trans I'm really just sort of focused on the energy the energy of the where I spend my energy yeah. wanting people to see things that they're not going to see is so different than showing people things that I see. which is usually pretty well received almost all the time. So the question is, why do I focus on trying to get people to see what they just haven't been able or unwilling to see for all these years? And uh, is it time to maybe just say, okay, just what's that word we use? We Action, maybe. <laughs> instead of staying sensation. Um, yeah, I, I, it's interesting because um, one feels like I'm going down a rabbit hole that there's no out and the other one feels very expansive. And yet mm. I'm, I'm always looking at the rabbit hole. Yeah. I mean, is there a different way to go down, down it that maybe people will finally see? And I don't think that's the case. So, yeah. So, if we pause here just for a moment All right. and get a sense of, you know, we've got some time today together. And it sounds like the, the tasks that were necessary for the, the, show, the trade show, all those books on the bottom shelf, sounds like in a, in a polarity hanging out on that task side has in a way brought in the third shelf of your tears of what's missing. Right? Yeah, that what's way? missing is a good is a good way to describe it. Mm. When you when we're grinding, I call it grinding, um, you're like it's it's and it was a good, you know, it was a good show and people were happy. And and at the same time, what? And at the same time, it takes me four days to recover. Uh, it takes, there's a lot, there's so much energy that I put out just to get it through where when I do my other project, my walking, the energy just flows to me. Mm. You know, I, I come out of that feeling enlivened every time. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, it's a push, it's a, it's a, it's not a struggle. I, I love what I do talking with the people, but it's just so draining. It's a well, even, even your word of calling it a grind sounds like it's effortful. Interesting choice of words. I huh? never thought of that. Yeah, it, 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 it feels like, um, well, the, the grind I see as I got to do one. I got to do two, I got to do three, back to that tier, I got to do four, I got to do five, I got to do six, where when I'm doing my walking, it's what's going to show up. Mm. Mm. And what happens inside of you as you allow that to wash into you? It's... um. It's just a different way to experience life, man. Mm -hmm. 
and it's it's just such a more fun and full way to experience life so if what's going to show up today becomes my focus and what can i show people that i see today becomes my focus the energy is completely different than why don't these people see or, yeah. or the grind of of uh you know we do 988 things for the show and people see the two things we don't do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And that's what they point to. Well, why don't you do this? Uh, mm -hmm. Not always, They're, you know, every once in a while you get, you can't please everybody. So in this exploration, I'm curious, what would be the most useful for us to really focus in on so that you could take some, uh, make some progress after we finish today? Um, I think disconnecting the two. I, I never thought of that before. Um, disconnecting the two or just connecting the two? What was dis disconnecting? disconnecting the two? Um, I don't, and, and I think, and that never occurred to me till this moment, but um, I, I can feel it, I don't want to say, I don't want the grind to make its way into the walks. Oh. I don't want the walks to become the grind. And, and I think sometimes the expectations I put on it, like it could replace my current form of income, it could do this, it could do, you know. Oh. So if, if it would be, if, if it took off and a lot of people were to follow me on Instagram and I could make money off of that, then I could replace the grind. But then in a sense, I almost turn it into a grind of things that it, it's carrying a lot of weight to get me out of this other life, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And maybe I just explore, have fun, get out there, do it and see, you know, maybe I get a hundred followers, but I have the time of my life. Mm. Um, so just slowing that down just a little bit. What are you discovering? Um, There's a lot of wagons attached to the joy and that sort of defeats the joy. <laughs> when you say wagons attached to the joy, I'm not I, sure I get it. I see, uh, in, you know, the image that came to me was I see driving through the mountains on a, say ATV and there's like seven wagons behind you. Really <laughs> It's, it really limits the spontaneity, the, you know, it's like there's all this expectation. I've got to fill all these wagons full of whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that all of a sudden becomes the grind again. It's not just go out, do have fun, see what happens. And if it takes off, it takes off. So the wagons are already attached, it sounds like, to the trade shows. They are. Absolutely. And the trade show fills those wagons. Yes, with with yes, there's all kinds of things that we have to do to yeah. get to the finish line, so to speak. And so, if the if the trade shows go away, the wagons still are there. Um, with the other project, yes. Well, okay. so the wagons still need to be filled some way. No, I see the wagons as um, responsibility. Uh, I see the wagons as, as um, so when I do, um, when we do the, the trade shows, there's this, there's some elements of joy that I absolutely love. I love the clients. I really do. Mm -hmm. I love the interaction. I love the show day. Um, and it's just so much to get up to that point. I see. Yeah. You know social media advertising and, da, 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 yeah. da. and so i think part of my resistance to going out into the woods is uh 
even though I get all these signs, I attach the wagons. Mm. And not necessarily, I think it's a pattern that I have. I do that, I think, in my relationship. Well, I attach things that may not be there. Mm. And uh, I'll give you a perfect, for instance, last night I said to Donna, when you go sit on the beach, I may go walk in the woods as a form of relaxation. She said, I'm fine with that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I gotta do that. And and um, so my form of relaxation and her form of relaxation are different. Mm -hmm. But I do attach this uh, I don't know, expectation or attach this. I, I, have, I have complete faith that things will show up. They always do. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. It's the, it's the attaching the grind and the wagons would be the grind. Right, wagons with the grind, yeah. The, the wagon after wagon of expectations and things to do and yada, yada. And I don't want to lose the joy of it. So if we were to uh, play around with this to go a little bit deeper, what aspect would you like to experience a little bit more of right here, right now. What aspect would I like to? Um, I would say um, give me a little more context. Yeah. Um, so you've talked about the grind in the wagons and you've talked about the joy and a worry that so one of the things maybe holding you back is the wagons that are attached to the joy and and the, what it takes to do that joy um i i sit in wonder about the um if we were to do a little experimenting today to get a new felt sense of, of yourself in relation to this would might it be and these are just ideas so just take them as ideas um would it be sitting in the grind to see how you could let go of some of those wagons would it be sitting in the joy to see how you that could what would feel with the wagons and without the wagons might it be the having enough of the things that in our in the grind life that you must do and enough in the flow to the pieces of joy without the wagons that you want to do so an idea some idea those might be some ideas of places oh, to it's funny you used the word that just popped into my head so mm -hmm. um as i was listening to you the, the the thought came through my mind is that the walks are all about flow and welcoming flow into my life. Mm. And the flow among what? Or between what? The flow of, um, um, man, just, just uh, you know, every time I walk, I know I'm gonna see something. I just know, it just, it's, and every time I, so that's more the way I want to live. I want to live more in flow than grind. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm out walking and I'm taking pictures or doing whatever I do, and then I just have to also trust that, follow the signs, mm -hmm. follow the signs, allow things to show up, see them. Um, one is, uh, just being here this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's 
was very, and you know me, I'm not hesitant, but I was a little hesitant. And I don't think it's the recording. I just think it's so close to my heart. Yeah. Yeah. So if we <laughs> breathe for a moment there and feel your emotion. But, but flow is the, how do we, so um, flow is the word I want to look at. Mm -hmm. So how do I bring more flow? How do I, because honestly, if I could, my dream is if I could walk around in the woods every day taking pictures, I would do that. <laughs> that would be my dream job. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, would it? It sounds like there's still some wagons attached to that. Yeah, that it's, I would have to let it evolve. Mm. So, so that would be my dream job. But if I don't start that action word, if I don't start and just try and do it, I, I, I'm never going to know. Yeah. You know, I dabble in it. I'll, I'll do a little bit. And people always respond well, but I, I don't ever actually commit to like, okay, every day I'm going to go out and take a picture. Every day I'm gonna go out and see what I see. Mm -hmm. um, and then who knows where it goes from there. Maybe uh, maybe it doesn't turn into the money maker, mm -hmm. but it makes me so happy that the other stuff is fine too. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of the words that you're choosing, just so that I can make sure that I'm using similar definitions, um, before you said when you are out in the woods taking pictures and so on, that's sort of seeing what shows up and being emergent. And now I hear your use of flow that you feel in flow there, or is it flow between doing the, the grind things and doing the joy things? Is it flow no. between those or is it flow on one side? The, the flow is allowing life to come to me. Like allowing it's... life to come to me. Yeah. seeing the signs, seeing that, trusting that, um, that, that the universe is sending me signs, that I'm paying attention, that um, there's, uh, this, there's a job, this is mine to do. Mm -hmm. There's an awareness for me to raise, whether it be with five people or 500 or 5 million, we don't know. But, but or me, just me. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's I think it's it's a lifestyle, and I'm, you know as I even say that now, like the uh, always been mesmerized with the thought of waking up in the morning and saying, you know, okay, what's going to show up today? Mm -hmm. So let me let me just pause there. Okay. So and just say it back to you and, right. and find out what happens. It's a lifestyle, Dan. It's about waking up every morning and saying, let's see what happens today. You wanna know? <laughs> Sorry. What happened? I, your <laughs> chuckle is great. Uh, I had a hard time hearing it. Oh. Which part? Um, all of it. Because mm. I said it or because your ears heard it from someone other than you or something else? Um, no, because you heard it. So now that you've heard it, mm. it's no longer this thought rattling around in my brain that mm. I can choose to wake up and do that. Whereas before... It was like, well, yeah, it's a thought. Mm. It's no longer a thought. It's it's out there. The, <clears throat> it's out there with you. Mm -hmm. And that if I truly, truly um, it so rather than try and figure it out, okay, meaning of it. My invitation is to just stay in the experience of it. 
um, one of the things you're very good at is staying in sensation and awareness. So instead of trying to make meaning, um, how, how, where, how do you want to take this and go and do something with it right here, right now? We've got plenty of time to do that. So in sensation and awareness, it's, it's um, um, what's instance. Going what's going on? Um, my drawing is, mm. is right here. Um, in sensation and awareness. Um, Maybe start with the sensation. So what do you feel inside your chest? What do you feel inside your belly? What do you, ex what do you feel behind your eyes? Your lower back? Just... I, I actually feel a little bit of trembling, just a little bit of a... Oh, I, I, um, okay, so... What's your... Uh, you really want to know? Yeah. Sorry, I'm sweating over here. Um, it goes, it goes back to, and and I'm just that um, disbelief that I am connected to the universe, and that's okay to be connected in my way. Mm. That's okay to be connected in my way. Yeah, and and to um, before you ahead. run, are you willing to say that again? Perhaps a little bit uh, more convincingly to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm connected to the universe. Yeah, I am. I'm going to try it a couple times. I am connected to the universe, and it's okay to be connected in my way. Um, I. I think that is more scary than the crime. It's freeing, but um, and at the same time, phew. Well, if if I'll if. All I have to do when I wake up in the morning is just connect the way I want to connect and do the way the things I want to do. It frees up so much space. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to try and ask these questions. Why don't people see what I see? Mm -hmm. Just don't. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Not who cares. But um, it just Sounds frees like a different space. intention. It's a di totally different intention. It's a totally different focus. It's it's a flow versus a grind. It's a I'm connected and I'm enjoying and it's um, it 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 feels more transformational and maybe that's why I don't like attaching the grind to it is because mm -hmm. I still don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. You still so, don't know what 
it is that it is that what you're saying well, i know what i'm supposed to do and i know what it is but i don't know um it's and again my analogies are it's like you know putting a horse in the gate and um that's bad now it, it's it's goes back to the cards again let's let's stick with the cards in that you know if i'm going to explore i don't want to have seven cards behind me mm, that you're pulling through yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i want to i want to wake up every day and go okay let's what, oh there it is I want to wake up every day and say, you know, what's in store today? Mm. What does the universe have in store for me today? What am I going to find today? What exciting things are going to be out there for me today? What's, what is cool in the world that's going to just drop in my lap today? And maybe some days it doesn't. But man, if I go into the day looking that way instead of like, why don't people see? It's going to shift my entire day. And as I'm listening to you, I realize that um, you're saying, I want this. And if I shift, or if I do this, it will shift. So I'm, I'm curious to, or interested, if you're interested in uh, just trying on, saying it not as a want, but saying it as an is. Yeah, it's, um, I agree with that. Um, and um, again, it's, it's something about this declaration of sitting with you of making it, saying it out loud to somebody. Hmm. Um, and It, it, um, um, so that, no, sorry, it's going to deflect. <laughs> and instead, um, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Um, Are you with me right here now, Dan? Am I with you here right now? Now I am, as I see your face, yes. Mm. It's so um, important. Rephrase. It's, it's not so important. It's how I want to live. Mm -hmm. And it's counterintuitive to the rest of my family. It's counterintuitive to the people that I'm trying to get to see. Mm -hmm. So I just need to, no, I, I, um, I so want if, to it's, if it's just you and me, just for a moment, Yes, okay. Before we figure out how to take it out there. If it's just you and me, just for a moment. Are you with me? I am with you. Okay. Um, in this moment, do you want to experience that feeling of waking up and saying that out loud? Or would you rather jump to the judgment that you feel from others about if you were to wake up and say that out loud. Um, no, I want to experience the wake up, but I love the term wake up. I don't know why I do like that term of just like waking up and not caring what those people think, but just waking up. And so how do we do that? So how do we tap into the, how do we do that, Melissa? <laughs> well, you said, it, you said a couple of minutes ago that part of, um, part of this experience that we're having together 
is saying out loud yeah. to someone else. And I'm that someone else right now. Yeah. So one way could be to just do a little visualization of waking up and literally saying out loud and being witnessed by another person. Oh, interesting. Okay. How might mm. you want to take that and make it more your own? So it feels like something that would have you have that experience. Oh, I got an image. Okay. All right. So we're going to do. Sorry. So what's my job? As we um, do this, what, what do you want me to do? I guess your job is to. Um, I have the image. Mm -hmm. I have kind of what I want to do. Um, I guess witness. Okay. I'll happily witness. So. So can we, the witnessing, the witnessing is real. I don't know why we can go back there, but man, that's potent for me. Mm -hmm. The witness, part. I'm not sure why, but so my visual is oh man welcome to the day what does the universe have in store for me i can't wait can you look at me do that so that i can witness you yeah Other i can't wait to start early. my day oh. i can't wait to start my day i can't wait to see what shows up today how come because i'll know that i'm in flow and i'll know that i'm connected oh. as i feel now i feel connected to you mm -hmm. so yeah i i'm uh I'm feeling more connected mm. and um, I can't, yeah, I just, uh, and, and, okay, the other thing is I just have to say, I love your look because it doesn't, you don't have this like your crazy look. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more of a, I see you and it's okay to be who you are look versus like, what the hell is that? Ah. So as we slow it down just a little bit to make to mind that a little bit it seems like there are a couple of different steps in this one is it seemed like you raising that. your arms and ah, and then saying some things with your eyes closed and then saying some things with your eyes open and then interpreting the my face i'm wondering if you want to try it again do it again and pay attention to those different components of it sure um yeah and i don't know that it'll be the same but it, it'll yeah. and so before we do that what do you do you want me to still uh witness you is that still my role, my job? Um, yeah. Okay, as me? As you. Okay. Because, um, yes, as you. So, it, and the reason that's important mm -hmm. all on a Saturday morning here. Um, I want to align myself with people that I'm, that um, are my people. So again, it's the focus. It's the focus. It's the focus. It's, 
it's align myself with people that are my people, people that will say, man, I love that versus like, what the hell is that? Okay. So, all right, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, universe. What have you got in store for me today? I can't not wait and it's okay for me to it's okay for me to see what i see and share it really is it's okay to see what i see and share what is yours to do dan what is mine to do this is mine to do it really is and it's okay for me to get out there and share it and it's okay oh wait one more okay let's just do a little okay hitch we're just gonna un unhitch the oh. wagons and we're gonna let them go it's okay to unhitch the wagons okay to unhitch the wagons Oof. and that just feels really good it's in what way? okay. Um, that's what's preventing the flow. Just like you just you can't flow if you've got twelve wagons attached every time it grows. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's like if I'm if I'm gonna do what I want to do, I just have to go out and and see what happens, and not put some sort of okay. I'm gonna have this many followers. I'm gonna. Yeah. It, it's yeah. all that just adds another wagon. Mm -hmm. if it happens fine but it'll happen in the flow mm -hmm. which is completely different um than attaching wagons does that make sense yeah yeah so i'm i i just sit in this place of so when you're in the flow and all of a sudden there's a wagon that attaches itself out of your awareness how will you let it go in the moment Um, energy up energy now. I'll go back to my my old if I because as you were saying that I could just feel my chest tight. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I attach a wet like okay, I have 10 followers. Who cares? Mm -hmm. still, oh, who, that's who, fantastic. Who, yeah. who cares? <laughs> I have 10. I, if every day I go out and I love the walk and I love what I find. And I come back and I'm juiced and I'm energized. I just can't imagine what that's going to do for my psyche, for my health, for my everything. And if I'm like, oh, I showed this completely awesome photo today and nobody liked it, but I loved it. Just to take the wagons off. Mm. doesn't matter. Somebody at some point will see it. Yeah. Or not. Or not. I see it. Say again. I see it. Mm. I see it. Mm. What's mine to do? Mine to do is to show what I see mm -hmm. without wagons. Without wagons. Mine to do is to show what I see without wagons. Mine to do is to show what I see without wagons. Yes. Man, I, I, I got to say, um, I'm here, I'm present, and uh, that feels really good. Mine to do. Mine to do is to show what I see without the wagons. Without wagons. Without wagons, right. Yowzer. Now I wanna go. <laughs> it's fascinating to me. I, 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 you know, we know each other really well, but it's like that's just not imagery that I thought would come. That's not where I, it's not what I expected. Mm. And, uh, but I love it. Mm. Not, Mine to do is to show what I see without the wagon. 
because that's just basically without the expectations mm -hmm. without all the pressure without all the grind without all the grind yeah as soon as you have the grind so it doesn't become a passion Well, we are nearing our end time. I'm curious where you are now relative to where we started. Um, I'm very present. I'm very in my body. I'm, um, I'm, I'm less, uh, it feels very dual. Mm. What does? To show what I see without the wagons. Oh, yeah. What is mine to do without the wagons? Mm -hmm. So this this feels less. Um, the, the, having you witness me and me saying, "Okay, this is how I'm going to live my life," and just looking at me and saying, "That's great. That's fine." Mm -hmm. It's such a different experience for me. Mm. And so I'm like, "Oh, wait, I can do this." Mm -hmm. I think maybe I've got some old imagery in there. Yeah. So just and and so as I, I you mentioned a couple of times how having a face like mine, not not questioning, just sort of being a neutral face, being interested, um, supported you. Yeah. We don't have time today to do more, but I'm curious, what's a surrogate for this that maybe you can look at? You know, are there neutral faces? Are there friendly faces? Are there ways that as you're practicing in the morning doing this or that you can see the kind of faces that you want to see so that you get that reinforcement before you take it out and do it with the people that don't necessarily have the same sort of countenance. Yeah, I love that. I love the concept of shifting my morning when I start my morning and wake up and say, I'm going to live, mm -hmm. wait. And, but to visualize, there are people that will give me that kind of fix. Mm and um, you being one of them and others. So like, mm -hmm. how do I just refocus, mm -hmm. wake up in the morning and find those faces in my psyche or wherever I wanna find them. I, I actually kind of really love that. It's like, there's this, um, it's, it's, it's more of a, It's just a shift mm -hmm. to, to so can we can we i know we got to close here but can we find something so so that's a biggie for me so how do i talk what um find the faces mm -hmm. there's got to there, there's a, maybe that's as simple as that find the faces mm -hmm. find the faces that support you dan and yeah. uh, don't go down the rabbit hole. Find the faces. Just find the faces. And yeah, along the path. Yeah. And just, yeah. oh, isn't that interesting? <gasps> What's that? Find the faces. Mm -hmm. And what do I do? Walk in the woods and find faces. Yeah. In trees and in rocks and in water and on land. Yeah. So I need to shift that, add to that. And people mm -hmm. find the faces and people that will also um, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's three words right there. Find the faces. Find the faces. It's not only yeah in that world, but in this world as well. Yeah. Both worlds. Yeah. yeah. Now we need to close, and you know me. Yeah.
I'll go for another I know. hour. <laughs> so before we close, what feels like a next step? Um, next step is practice my little yawn stretch every morning. Make that a, um, not a routine, a tradition routine. Mm. Just make this kind of like a, a you know, welcome to the morning. Mm -hmm. And then um, I just love find, and I might just um, make some sort of a sign. This is find the faces and have both a tree face and a person face, mm. like so that it's. Connect the worlds. Connect the worlds. Remember, I wanted to say I wanted to disconnect the the grind in this world, but in here, I want to connect the worlds of the people that support yeah. me doing me being me. Yep, yep. Hmm. Connect the worlds of me being me. Disconnecting the grind. So it feels like we looked at a bunch of different aspects today. If we were just to finish with one statement of how you'd sum it all up for yourself. What, what is that statement? Um, it's okay for me to be me. It's okay for me to do what I'm supposed to do. And I, and I just love that last image. I just love it. Of, of doing some sort of imagery where I've got connecting the worlds yeah and um i don't know what that means completely we probably don't have time to go there today <laughs> to connect but, the universe in your way yeah connecting yeah the multiple layers of, of mm -hmm. yeah a lot mm -hmm. unexpectedly a lot but but um All right. did i answer the question you did. You did. <laughs> so I will um, stop the recording and have that uh, be the finish of our session. We can stay on for a moment or two um, just to okay. tidy up the what's next. And um, thank you. Thank you very much.